Hello dear students in today's class we are going to prove that in a ring the set of all units is actually a group with respect to multiplication now the question is what is a unit in a ring so for that purpose just i have written definition here remember unit is always a non zero number so a non zero element a in a ring r is said to be a unit if there exists an element uh, we are calling it as a inverse a inverse stands for the inverse of a it is simply the notation used for inverse of a so if there exists an element a inverse belongs to r such that a into a inverse is equal to 1 and what is 1 there 1 is actually the unity in a ring now what is the unity in a ring the identity element with respect to multiplication now here it is given to us that uh, we are having a ring with unity and we have to show that the set of all units form a group with respect to multiplication now for that purpose we should know definition of group as well so what exactly group is so first of all a uh, group is a non empty set together with a binary operation and let us call that binary operation as star and the conditions are star should be associative then we have existence of identity now we are very familiar with that and next is existence of inverse if all these three properties together with non emptiness and binary operation is nothing but a group right now what i will do is i will call set of all units uh in a ring r as uh, let us say set g so i will say let g is equal to set of all a belongs to r such that a is a unit in r now we have to show that this is a group this set is a group right now in order to prove this set is a group first of all we need to show, we need to show g is non empty uh, now uh, in order to show g is non empty we are supposed to show that r has a unit right because g is a collection of units so uh, which is a unit in r we already know see since r is a ring now as they have said that it is a ring with unity now it is pretty sure that ring is going to contain at least two elements which are that elements can you guess now we already know that a uh, ring satisfies that seven properties and that first four properties implies that a uh, ring is a group in fact a uh, abelian group with respect to addition and we know uh, since uh, all that four properties are satisfied one of the properties is existence of identity and we are calling that element as zero so zero is always in the ring now since it is said that it is a ring with unity so one more element will be that we will call it as one so we are pretty sure that zero and one are in r and there may be some more elements okay it will go on continuing so out of these two elements which one will be a unit in r that's the obvious choice right it should be one isn't it so i'll say clearly uh, one is a unit in r because its inverse is nothing but itself right one into one will be one okay so i'll say clearly one is a unit in r and therefore one belongs to g and therefore g is non empty now we have shown uh, g is non empty now remember we have to show that g is a group under multiplication so the binary operation is multiplication so first of all we are supposed to show that this multiplication is actually a binary operation on g now what is a binary operation so we have to pick 
two elements of G, uh, let us call them as A and B and we have to show that they are multiplication. Why multiplication? Because uh, the binary operation uh, that is given in the question is multiplication. So we have to show that uh, A multiplied by B uh, is again in G, right? So that will prove that uh, this G is closed under multiplication. So let us take two elements of G, I will call them as A and B. So I will say let A comma B belongs to G be any elements. But what does G contain? G is a collection of units in R, right? So this will imply that A and B are units in R. So this implies A comma B are units in R. <coughs> But what is the definition of unit? This implies there exists A inverse comma B inverse belongs to R such that what will happen? This A into A inverse will be equal to 1 which is equal to A inverse A and B into B inverse will be equal to 1 which is equal to B inverse B. Now our claim is to show AB belongs to G and that will prove that multiplication is a binary operation on G. Now in order to show AB belongs to G what we have to show since G is a collection of units we have to show that AB is a unit in R. Right? Now what is the meaning of it? AB is a unit in R means what? So we have to find according to the definition of unit right we have to find some element let us call it as C belonging to R such that the multiplication of AB with this C should be 1 and further it should be equal to C into AB that is what we have to do. So can you guess what should be my choice of C? Naturally, we have to use this one in order to choose that C. So if we observe carefully, so if I choose my C to be B inverse A inverse, then what will happen? A, B, B inverse, A inverse will be equal to what? As you can observe, we have B, B inverse in this expression but the value of b b inverse is what that is 1 so it will be a 1 a inverse and which will be further equal to a a inverse and that will be 1 again right and that is exactly what we wanted so what should be my choice of an uh, element uh, c it should be b inverse a inverse so i will write here as b inverse comma a inverse belongs to R, this implies B inverse into A inverse also belongs to R. What is the reason? Since R is a ring. So, this multiplication is already a binary operation or R such that which condition is satisfied? This B inverse A inverse belongs to R such that AB into B inverse A inverse is actually equal to A B B inverse A inverse and which is equal to 1 right this is using 1 as well as other way round and B inverse A inverse into A B which is equal to B inverse a inverse a b is actually also equal to let us complete it okay b inverse 1 b which is further equal to uh, b inverse b and again it is equal to 1 right this is again using 1 thus what does it imply thus you can say a b is a unit in R. Now since it is a unit in R, where does AB lie? Therefore, AB belongs to 
a g and thus we will conclude that therefore multiplication is a binary operation on g now we have to prove uh, one by one the properties of a group so g should satisfy all the three properties of a group now uh, as we know g is actually the collection of units in r therefore elements of g are actually nothing but elements of r now since r is a ring multiplication is already associative in r and therefore multiplication will be associative in g as well that is very obvious so what i will say here as elements of g are nothing but elements of r and multiplication is associative in r therefore multiplication is associative in g now moving towards the second property in second property uh, we have to show that there exist an element uh, some element e uh, in g such that what should happen a into e should be equal to a which is equal to a into a for all a belongs to g but note whenever i say e belongs to g g is as as g is a collection of units this e should be a unit right in r isn't it so can you guess such an element of r which is a unit and multiplication of that element with any element of g will be actually the same element and that is very obvious choice uh, that is nothing but one again that is nothing but unity because as in the beginning i have already told you one is a unit in r therefore one is already a member of g so this property is ultimately satisfied and a dot 1 is going to be a only for all a belongs to g as uh, this elements of g are actually nothing but elements of r so what i will say there exist one belongs to g such that a into 1 is actually equal to a which is equal to 1 dot a for all a belongs to g now moving towards the last property that is existence of inverse so what we have to show here is for each a belongs to g we are able to find a inverse belongs to g such that a into a inverse should be 1 so for that purpose let us take one element of g so i'll say let a belongs to g but as we know g is a collection of units so a will be a unit in r now since a is a unit in r what is the meaning this implies we will be able to find an element a inverse belongs to r such that a into a inverse will be equal to 1 which is equal to a inverse a now take a note that we have to show the set g satisfies this property that is existence of inverse what is the meaning for each a belongs to g we are supposed to find a inverse belongs to g satisfying the property a into a inverse is actually equal to 1 which is equal to a inverse a so we are able to find a inverse belongs to r such that this property is satisfied but where do i want this a inverse this a inverse should be in g right because we are proving g is a group now in order to show a inverse is a element of g we are supposed to prove that a inverse is a unit in r because g is actually collection of unit but what does this condition imply this condition indirectly implies that a inverse is a unit in r because if you think of a inverse as an element so we are able to find an element a 
such that a inverse into a is equal to 1. So we can say that a inverse is actually a unit in R. So in other words, this actually implies that a inverse is a unit in R. And this implies a inverse belongs to G. So therefore, we will say for each a belongs to G, we are able to find a inverse belongs to G such that a into a inverse is equal to 1 which is equal to a inverse a. And thus, all the properties of a group are satisfied by the set G with respect to multiplication and therefore G is a group under multiplication and that is exactly what we wanted to prove.